Okay, this video is about how to 17 boot Voyager XFCE 18.04.1.1 with Windows 10 plus 15 GNU slash Linux distros. That's my multi boot number 17. First thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna create a folder for we're gonna create a folder on the downloads and we're gonna create a folder with the name uh, Voyager. So create a folder with the name Voyager and what we're gonna do now we're going to the web page here for Voyager live.org um, <coughs> there is different version here the Vo Voyager uh, GE is with the GNOME shell it has a dock but the reason why I'm not going to use this one here is because it's only nine months of update so that's no good for me and uh, I'm going to use Voyager XFCE you come with the XFCE desktop environment and look like it has the, the dock and it's based on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS so this is supported uh, until April 2021 so it supports the UFI kernel 14, 4.15 support the Intel Cabulate processor so we're gonna use that one. So uh, that is the Voy uh, Debian Voyager, but uh, I'm interested with the XFC. That's the one I'm interested. So we're gonna download. We're gonna download it. So. There is some information here. So we are going to use we are going to use the, the 64 bit here. It is updated to 2021. Save it to the Voyager. I'm gonna save that, and uh, I wanna see where's the Shark 256 sound um, here. Probably is with Source Forge. You don't have all the information in the same place. It's hard. Uh, Source Forge needs a redesign. Okay. This is the MD5 here. Yeah. This is the MD5. Okay. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna cut this here. And we're gonna wait until the download is finished. to be completed so I'm gonna pause the video to the download is finished okay uh, the download is completed now we're gonna verify this guy with the picole every time coming the wrong time so anyway we're gonna verify the image here we're gonna copy this here and uh, we're gonna use the uh, software called uh, MD5 and SHA checksum utility so 
Eu vou no governador Ria. Vou vir na Uncheck this, uncheck this, uncheck this. Click on browse. And then you're gonna go to to down, downloads here. Uh, Voyager. Voyager. And I'm gonna wait until it's finished. And I'm gonna pause. So now you're gonna compare. What I'm gonna do. What you're gonna do, you right click here and paste the information here. Click verify. You have to give the you have to say MD5 hash match. Five is sharp. Check some utility. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna open the. I'm gonna use Rufus. Which is here. I'm gonna close this. And uh, what we're gonna do now? We're going to connect the USB flash drive. this I'm gonna click, click on select I'm going to download go to Voyager select Voyager and then it's gonna be BIOS and we are five here click start click yes Ok, click ok, minimize this folder here, this is, I'm gonna pause until it's finished. So the, the live USB is done, click close, so now the folder has um, the EFI folder here on the USB flash drive, you can see the name here Voyager 18, so I'm going to reboot the computer. Let's reboot the computer. I have to press F12 on this computer to select the boot device here.
What a fucking hot day today. So this is the Voyager 18.04 LTS, run the stash, run the installation here. So you select your language, click continue. Your keyboard, continue. I'm not going to connect to the internet now. I'm not going to install any third party software. partition we already have the swap we're gonna go here we're gonna use on the free space double click we're gonna use uh, 20 gigabyte it's gonna be 20 it's gonna be 20 2480 for 20 gigabytes and the mount point here it's gonna be like this click OK so now it will uh, install on the creator partition number SDA20 with the EXT fire system with the mount point, just have to click install now. We're gonna use the swap here, click continue. Select your location, click continue. Now, computer name can be PC1. Computer one, kitchen computer, PC one, two, three, four is easier. So I'm gonna pause it with my username and password here. Okay. 
stroke lights based on Ubuntu and uh, Zumbuntu. Okay, Zumbuntu is a flavor of Ubuntu. So to use the Zumbuntu uh, information here. The installer is the Ubuntu uh, Ubiquiti. This is the one of the easiest installers. The easiest installers is Ubuntu Ubiquiti. Ubiquiti. This one I'm using right now. The Calamaris installer is very easy to use too. The pin installer is very very easy. And uh, what else? Mm. Yeah, that's it. The easiest one are the one that I said there. Very easy to use. But uh, there is a limitation with the, with the installer with the Debian slash Ubuntu slash dp and, the, and the base distros when you get to a number of, of uh, partition the installer will crash and uh, I mean that the reason, that's the reason why I'm doing the installation of all Debian slash Ubuntu slash base distros because I know the limitation on the installer. That's on Debian, that's on Ubuntu. There is a there is a bug that you cannot install after a number of partitions. The installer will not see the parti the, the, all the partition on the hard drive. I will when I get to this point I will make a video and I will share the video with uh, Debian and Ubuntu and also I found a bug on the UFI firmware and uh, the Toshiba computer notebook here that I will share the, I will make a video and I will share the video uh, with Toshiba and also with the UFI firmware settings the way they have UFI firmware uh, there is a page I will share the information there because there is a there's a number of uh, a bootloader that you can support after a certain number of bootloaders it cannot uh, you have to manually add the to the GNU Grub you have to manually add the OS we're gonna see with this operating system with uh, Voyager if, if this is gonna happen but I believe it's, it, it will happen so let's see so I'm gonna pause until the installation is finished As you can see, the installation is complete. Now I want to see if there is a bug with the Ubuntu or the, if there is a bug with the UFI firmware, the BIOS on this computer. So I'm going to click restart now. Remember, I'm not connected to the internet. USB flash drive. Okay, so there is a bug. There is a bug with the UFI firmware 7 here. So 
after a number of operating system that you install, each operating system has a bootloader, a boot manager. So every operating system that I install now, I have to manually add the bootloader, the the OS to the to, to the GNU bootloader. I'm gonna show how you can do that. I could use the live USB here or I can use the existing operating system that I installed on the computer. In this case I'm gonna use uh, the, the right now the, the GNU Grub is from Bunsen Lab Bunsen Labs so I'm gonna log into Bunsen Labs and uh, so this is a bug this is, the, this is the UFI firmware settings, the UFI firmware BIOS, the UFI BIOS, the, that's the, 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 that's the, the, the bug. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this video with, with, uh, with Toshiba. So you have to run sudo update grub. So every time I install a new OS, I have to run this command here to update grub. Every time. And I'm planning to have I'm planning to have 50. I'm planning to have I had I had uh, 50 I had 55 operating systems installed, so I'm so. But now I'm using a bigger, bigger partition, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to get like 40 operating systems, and uh, I have to check when it starts to on the Debian slash Ubuntu distros. Uh, I found a few bugs, and. Uh, when it starts to do the Arch based GNU slash Linux and uh, OpenSUSE uh, Fedora, I will see if, if there is a bug there and other independent GNU slash Linux. So I'm going to pause the stream here. So I'm ready to add the, the Voyager GNU slash Linux. To the GNU grub here. Okay, um, I found a problem here. And the problem is I can't find the the Voyager. I can't find the Voyager there. I believe the Voyager has no. I cannot stop the Voyager. There's a bug on the Voyager. So I'm going to reboot the computer. I'm going to reboot. And uh, I want to see if the name. There's some lives. EDE. Elementary. Facepire. Body. Fire. Zoom ring. Park Linux. Makulu, Ubuntu, uh, I believe. Oh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu 18.04. That's the. That's the. the that's the. the uh, that's the Voyager. And on the bottom here, that's Ubuntu 18.04. So I'm gonna boot. This is the Voyager, this is partition number 20. That's the one that I, I installed. So I'm gonna boot. See here, it's supposed to show the name Voyager, but it shows Ubuntu. If you install Zumbuntu, Kumbuntu, Ubuntu Studio, Ubuntu Badge, uh, all the flavor of Ubuntu, it's all only gonna show the name Ubuntu. It's not gonna show the name 
of Zumbuntu, Shumbuntu, Ubuntu Bad, uh, Ubuntu Studio, Ubuntu... Uh, What's the name of the other one? I forgot. They, see here, they, that's the bootload of Voyager. So, you see here? So, that is a, a bug. Uh, I don't know if the bug is with uh, Ubuntu or is the bug with the UI5 firmware. But I will show this. I will. Um, I will. Um, I will send uh, some tweets to Ubuntu to connect to Canonical and see if there is a bug in the, in the system on the installation. So, anyways, so this, this is uh, this is Voyager. This is Voyager Linux slash Linux based on Ubuntu Zoom. Ubuntu 18.04 Ubuntu. So what we're gonna do I'm gonna boot to Ubuntu. No, I'm gonna boot to Windows and I'm gonna finish the video. I can boot to Ubuntu. I'm gonna boot to Ubuntu. I'm gonna boot to Ubuntu quick. Okay. This is Ubuntu 18.04. So you have to pay attention on the partition that you going to install the operating system. I have a book that I have. I have a notepad. All my OSs I installed. I have to add the. I have to add the. Uh, I have to add the Voyager. So this is how that's how I have everything planned here. So this is uh, this is Ubuntu. I know I'm gonna log into Ubuntu. I'm gonna reboot the computer. I'm gonna reboot and I'm gonna boot to to Windows. So I'm gonna boot to Windows. So I'm gonna end the video right here. This is uh, Windows 10, and uh, I see you on the next video.